Can I do something when they freeze? Yeah, like what what can you do? How can you fix the freeze? Okay, they freeze, but how do we break the freeze? How do we... I have to kill the minions. Okay, so right now... The position of the wave is closer to our tower. This means it's pushing into them. There is a difference if the waves... Let's say the wave is right here. This is our wave and this is their wave. When the next wave is going to come, it's going to push into them. There is a difference if it's this wave is our wave, this wave is their wave. Then their mini wave is going to come faster. Yeah. But what is a freeze? What is freeze a freeze? Is, uh, when I have... If I have five, uh, three, between three and five minions. True, but how many minions do we need to, to, to make it freeze? Let's say you can control these numbers. Uh, three. Three. Three where? On my side. Oh, here. Yeah. So it's gonna be a freeze if it's three against six. Even so, the difference is three. What's the ideal difference so you can set up an ideal freeze? Oh. Four minions, but four minions extra, so we need to have two. So the difference yeah. is four. What's going on guys, Bizaz here, and today we're gonna coach a diamond ADK that wants to get master tier. Quite surprisingly, he performed a lot below diamond average, so this ADK information can be applied for every rank, whether you're low elo or maybe you are high elo and you wanna get more. If this is the first time on my channel, my name is Bizize and I will post on this channel videos that will make you better in League of Legends. So if you want to make sure 100% you don't miss out anything that's going to happen on this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell plus like right now. I'm also a coach and, and I already hold 3,150 people to get better and improve. As you can see right here, I got people from bronze to platinum, from platinum to grandmaster, from bronze to diamond. This guy, for example, he got from gold to master tier with my coaching. If you also want some free coaching for a limited amount of time, I give free OPGG reviews on my stream. All what you have to do is go on my stream, twitch.tv, besides the lol, and follow the stream. Say hi. I will see you in the you see my screen, you said, right? Yeah. Okay, so. You go into the lane if you say Blitz is AFK. Uh, we said we want to play for level 2 advantage. You go into the lane if you say Blitz is not here. What changed? I can put pressure on them. True. So what should you do right now with the wave? Uh, pretty sure I should just have let it push into me. Okay, and why touching it is bad? Uh, I don't really know. So here, where, where is Blitzcrank? In base. So what's gonna happen if you touch the wave? Just, you know, two hits, three hits, three hits. Let's say you do three hits on the minions. And Jinx is gonna realize that this is not here. And she's gonna let the wave to come into her. How does that make you feel? She will probably kill me. True. So she will kill you or she will just try to freeze here or just let the wave to come into her. And you, how do you feel about that? That puts me in a very bad position. Exactly. So when you don't have blitz here and you do this, it's like not good. Because you're pushing the wave into them. Yeah, you're right. If Blitz was here, you're doing good. Yeah, but Blitz is not here. So playing for level 2 is not realistic right now. Because it doesn't give you anything if you push the wave. This is the first mistake. Little. Then. You get level 2. Blitz came. Okay. Okay, here. The moment when you see Blitzcrank came. Right here. If Blitzcrank is gonna hit a hook, we have yeah, a chance to win. So you shouldn't really E now. I shouldn't have used it. Because he's gonna hook. Okay, he missed it because he's... But he couldn't predict that. Because if he hits it and you have Insta E, Root, you might... If you don't kill her, you burn everything on her. Which is still good, but he didn't have E. So we just wasted it. Then, what we did right now. So... Wave is coming into you. As you can see, three potions uh, in this matchup. How would that feel? Because now you only have a potion, Ashraf. Yeah, only uh, one. You see probably this? a bot long sword. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Where is the enemy bot lane right now? Uh, missing. True. Where can they be? They missed. They are missing for like four seconds. Mm. Where can they be? What are the options? In the bush. True, the one is the brush. In the tower is second, yeah. In the river. In the river third, maybe recall fourth. Yeah. Okay. Now, since you don't know exactly where they are, what is the worst thing that you can do right now with the wave? 
push it. <laughs> yes, but why? <laughs> because uh, if I push it and she's in lane, then she can so, take advantage of it. Yeah, and she can just, like, if you push it now, you're not going to be able to crush it before the next wave comes here. So they will just freeze here. So the moment you see they are missing, don't push, don't push, don't push. Use the the seven seconds rule. If they are missing for seven or maybe eight seconds and they are still missing, they probably go for cheat to recall. They probably recalled. So then, only then you can say, okay, I'm gonna assume they recalled and I'm gonna push this. But right now, you haven't seen them for how much? Let's see. Okay, so she's on the map. She's on the map. Okay, she's still on the map. You see her on the map. She's missing now. One second, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But you saw someone on the river. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> yes, he says, I think it's Lulu or Jinx. So this is why you shouldn't push, because now she would have lost the minions, because these minions are going to fight with your minions, and some of the minions will die. How is this wave state right now? If you if you disappear now, do you don't last it? If you disappear, how is the way right now? It's kind of slow push. Mhm. Mm into who? Me. Into you? Okay. Why? Because I see two minions up front there. Okay. So let's see. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. Okay. Six minutes against six minutes. Uh, I don't know. So what's the wave state here? It's a normal wave. True, it's an even wave, true. But if you disappear and you let this, you, you for sure played practice tool. Like, in practice tool, there are six minutes against six minutes, but the waves are still pushing into a position. It's not gonna stay there forever. So in this position, if you disappear, this wave is even, you're right, but it has to be pushed somewhere, somehow, in like a minute or two minutes or three minutes. So do you know where this wave is pushing, considering that it's six minutes against six minutes? Think I don't know. Think about the next minion wave. The incoming minion wave. Oh, okay. It's my minions that are gonna kill there. Okay, so it's gonna slow push into who? Them. Exactly. This information doesn't help you too much in this specific situation, because even if it wasn't pushing into them, you still need to do this, because, I mean, what's the alternative? Pushing and giving free farm to the Jinx or giving a freeze? That's not an alternative. But just, you need to kind of think, the wave, if it's even, it's 5 against 5, 6 against 6, it is depending on where is the wave. Because if the position of the wave is closer to our tower, this means it's pushing into them. There is a difference if the waves, let's say, the wave is right here, this is our wave, and this is their wave. When the next wave is gonna come, it's gonna push into them, there is a difference if it's this wave is our wave, this wave is their wave. Then their minion wave is gonna come faster. Yeah. But what is a freeze? What is freeze a freeze? Is, uh, when I have, if I have five, uh, three, between three and five minions uh, and my turret range, you can just uh, put a marker. Okay, there. so if you have five minions, more. Yeah, and my wave is underway, and it uh, stops them from getting into turret range, then the wave can be frozen. Okay, so uh, let's say you have here six minions, and they we have seven. Is this a freeze? No. So how, how can it be freeze? Uh, don't I have to push the wave? True, but how many minions do we need to 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 make it freeze? Let's say you can control these numbers. Uh, three. Three. Three where? On my side. Oh, here? Yeah. So it's gonna be a freeze if it's three against six. Even so, the difference is three. What's the ideal difference so you can set up an ideal freeze? Four. Four minions, but four minions extra, so we need to have two. So the difference yeah. is four. Okay. But what happens if they have six minions here and they, we have four minions here? What is the wave pushing? Into them. Let's see. So Because our second. wave is on the way. Okay. So our wave is on our wave. Yeah, but right here you have six minions against four minions. Why is it not pushing into you? <clears throat> it is frozen. It is the frozen. Yeah, so The minions are blocking it. Okay. So how is this wave state? 
Uh, shouldn't I kill like two of them or four of them? They're minions, so it's two against four. So it's gonna be two against four. Yeah. So if we have four right here, and they have six, what should we do? Mm. So technically, when you have right here, when you have right here, a minion wave with six, and we have a minion with four. What is going to happen when the next minion wave is going to meet closer to our tower? What is going to happen with these waves? If my my minion wave is underway. Yes. You, your then... minion wave is going to meet closer to your tower, which means it's going to make the wave to push into them right yeah. now. But my question is, what if we had seven minions and we had four minions and the next minion wave is on the way? Then my minions die. True. So how is this wave state? Because last time when we said they have six and we have four, because of the fact that the minion difference is two minions, when this minion wave is gonna come, it's gonna make the wave push into them. But, Ashraf, when we have the difference of a minion of minimum three minions, so when it's seven against, let's say, four or three, it doesn't matter that this minion wave is gonna come because seven minions is a lot more than four. So the enemy minion wave also has time to come right here soon. Okay. So this is how you wanna see it. A freeze, because even when you do you have six versus four, you can still freeze. Yeah, but not for so long. You can just freeze a little bit, but then when the wave comes here, it's slow pushing into them. But of course, <coughs> when it's seven versus three, you can freeze for a long time. So it's uh, good information. <coughs> so here, what should you do? Uh, I should push the wave. Okay, why? Because my minions are gonna kill there. True. So you're you're saying that the next minion wave enemy uh, is gonna come closer. Oh. So it's gonna slow push into them, right? Yeah. Yeah, but where is Jinx right now? She is missing. Oh, she's on top jungle. Okay, so she's coming very fast in the lane. So option number one, let's push fast. Option number two, let's slow push. What do you want to do usually if you push fast? And use all my abilities. Yeah, but what do you want to do after if you want to push fast? Recall. Either recall or do something on the river or word. Do something with your advantage. The thing is you only have 480 gold. And uh, pushing this wave right here, I mean, doesn't really give you anything. Plus... If you push this wave, how many minions are, is Jinx gonna take? It's gonna take them all. Exactly. And if you slow push, if you let the minions, if you let the minions kill each other, and Jinx will try to farm from here with W or something, how many minions can she lose? <coughs> she can lose like three or four. yeah, yeah. Maybe she's gonna lose two, three, four, but she's gonna lose, not like give her free farm. This is why you shouldn't push her, because we haven't seen her for just four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. And she was in lane. If you stay here, if you just wait, and there are like five to seven another additional seconds where you don't see her, then you can say, oh, never mind. Whatever she is, she's doing Drake or she's recalling, or I'm gonna push right now because I know that she was missing. But don't push right now because you saw her in the river. So you're just giving her free farm. You have this pattern with pushing. You have this every single game that I saw at you, you do this. You're not thinking, hey, but why am I pushing? Why am I hitting the minions? Because Jinx is in the tower, she's gonna get everything. You have no reason to push here. No, no, you don't need Paraya for River. You don't need to do the equal. I mean, you have 500 gold. So you're not really having a reason behind the push. So wave management is the first thing that we need to fix. Well, it's not the first thing. I'm gonna show you the first thing. Uh, <laughs> okay, any push? And right now, how is your wave right now? It is shit. How do you know? Because their minions are gonna stop them and they are probably gonna trip and how do you know that the minions are gonna stop them i see mine true true you see yours where right here uh no at the tower exactly you see them in the tower exactly so right now this is shit. what should we do right now uh, should i base okay so if you base right now and your wave is so how is your wave state right now? My wave state state is very bad. True. Why? Because uh, again, their their minions stop mine, and my wave is on the, on its way, so 
it's gonna be frozen true so you're gonna lose a lot of minions so what's the solution here so you can do something about it can i do something when they freeze yeah like what what can you do how can you fix the freeze okay they freeze but how do we break the freeze how do we i have to kill the minions okay so right now the question is do you have enough hp to kill the minions because of course if you're this hp and they have a freeze i mean what the fuck can i do die for it i mean no but now with this hp the the answer is being your blitzcrank first of all push 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 assistant system so he wakes up and then you go and push but the problem is that you should have pinged him a while ago when he was leaving not now because if you ping him now the poor guy thinks about roaming because he simply doesn't know with management. You should ping him right now, right now, right now, right now. Because if you try to ping him now, when he's mid, <laughs> do you think he's gonna come? Oh shit, never mind, Zion needs me, I'm gonna move. No, he's not gonna move. So the moment when you see that you did this, and it's frozen, hard ping, hard ping. You see, hey, my wave is not crushed. Because this wave is coming. Assistance, assistance, assistance. Push, 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 push. Blitzkrieg is gonna move, and then you crush. If he doesn't move, no problem, you can still crush it by yourself, but you have to first see that you're in a screwed position, second, try to fix it. And if you try to fix it and he doesn't ping, sh uh, he doesn't come, sure. Because here you're like, oh, I'm chilling, I'm chilling, yeah, but they have a freeze, they make you lose so much, it's GG, GG, BG, and now it's like GG, here you lost the game. Not in late game. Here he lost the game. Here he lost the game. What it should have been, instead of giving them a freeze, it should be right here. Don't push. Like right here. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push this one. Slow push. The next wave is going to come here. You're going to make a huge wave and then crush it. And when you crush it, you can even go with the wave and crush it into the tower without blitz. Because they will be scared to fight you into two minion waves. But this is what you should have done, because here you just lost so much. So pinging didn't do it there. And then right here, I'm going to go to the biggest mistake right now. You recall, I think, here. Or... Okay, try to just farm, which is good. Then he came. Right here, personally, I would use exhaust instantly. So after the flash, she's going to be slowed. But again, it didn't use it. You're going to see on the replay. On the replay, I was talking about every single move that you had. So please watch the replay to see every single mistake. Uh, and then you just recall. Okay, you recall. The moment when you recall, you should look at the Jinx to see what she does. How much HP she has. And what she does with the wave. Because there are gonna be situations in your game where you recall and Jinx pushes so fast that you have to stay. Not in this case. Because the wave is right here, Jinx doesn't even touch it. But if you see pro players, they will always, always, no matter what, Teddy or Gumayushi or whatever you wanna, they recall, they look at Jinx. They wanna try to see, hey, how fast is she pushing? How fast is she pushing? They want to stay? Because sometimes you're gonna have situations where you're playing AD carry, you stay into your tower, you stay into your tower, you wanna recall here, and the Jinx pushes so fast that you have to stay. But if you just, if you're just having the camera like this on yourself, like this is what you see, this is what you see, you're not gonna see anything. You just need to look at the enemy ADK to see what she does as you're recalling. Big mistake that you're not looking, paying attention to what she does. I mean, it's not a big mistake because it doesn't affect you in this case, but this shows me Ashaf is not master tier. Because a master will eh, always look, always look by, by just, by pattern. <coughs> then you go in the lane and what should you be doing right now? What should you be doing with your camera right now? Looking at her. Exactly, look at it. Is she pushing? Is she freezing? Is she, I want to know how many minutes am I going to lose? Because now what you're thinking is. <laughs> What the coach is thinking is, okay, she's gonna push this wave, I'm gonna freeze right here, and then I'm gonna walk up right now, I'm gonna stop her recall, and after I'm gonna stop her recall, I'm gonna stop her recall again, and then I'm gonna look toward, and then I'm gonna let Blitzkrank roam, and I'm gonna have a freeze here. This is what you have to think. Here you're like, like, this is nothing. 
You're not looking. Jinx is not even pushing here. Look, look at your camera. You should press tab. You should look at the wave. How is my wave? What's the CS advantage? Let me see who is fed. Let me see. Think about the game. Take information. And here, what she does is good. She, she stacked two waves and then she crushed. This is what you should have done when you push the wave, if you remember. Because now, even if Jinx, Jinx would be by herself, this is a huge wave. So you can't freeze it. Very important. We didn't look at the wave and as recalling, we didn't look at the Jinx. Let me see what you're gonna do right here. He didn't push. This was the first decision making that you had good with the wave. Or? Okay, what should you do right here? I already told you, why shouldn't you push here? This is good that you don't push, but why shouldn't you push right here? <clears throat> My wave is coming. True. True. And? Uh, and? What? So your wave is coming, which one? Which one? This one? No, that one. The next uh, one? Yeah. Okay, so how does that make... So how, what's the wave state right now? So you have 7 minutes against 7 minutes right now. So theoretically you would say it's even. Well, what is it pushing in the like 2 minutes? Slow pushing into him. Into him, yes, because because of what? Because of the minions at the turret up there. Exactly. So the enemy minion... The, the our incoming minion wave is gonna meet closer to our tower which will make the wave to push into them okay perfect so what happens if you push right now this instantly push what happens yeah if you would push uh, <coughs> my way my those minions are gonna go to the turret and then my wave is also coming to the turret because the cannon minion can tank a lot yes so you're not gonna be able to crush it in time so yeah. the fact that you so if you push this fast this next wave that is coming from their base is gonna meet right here so you need to push another one yeah but if you need to push two waves jinx has lots of time to come back in the lane and to get all of the farm so by slow pushing as you can see the minions in the process of slow pushing they hit each other so this minion is gonna die this minion is gonna die this minion is gonna die so if you slow push and you only last hit some of the minions are gonna die if you hard push jinx gets all of the farm all so here it's good that you're slow pushing but it doesn't make sense that if I'm if I'm looking at your gameplay, it's not clear what is going through your through your mind basically. Like here, I'm like, okay, he wants to slow push, it's good. It's good. But then you have some moments where you're just hitting the minions. It's like, okay, I wanna slow push. True, but why are we hitting the minions? Then we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Then we're tanking the minions, which is even worse because I mean if you're tanking the minions. You're tanking auto attacks of the minions that should go on those minions, so it should be in the brush. So you have this, you have these moments, and it's also in the game with Jinx. You're slow pushing, you're waiting, you're doing it good, but then you auto attack. All of a sudden, you screw it up and you auto attack the minions, and then you're waiting, you're waiting, good slow push, slow, and then again auto attack the minion. If you slow push, you slow push. If you freeze, you freeze. If you push, you push. You don't do. Okay, let me do a bit of pushing, a bit of freezing, and a bit of low slow pushing, like you're doing. Here again, boom, slope, like again you, you tanked a little bit of the minions. And then after you stack this wave, on the next wave, when this wave came, now you need to push because you can't let the next minion wave that comes from base to freeze here. So you gotta push now. Now we need to kill the wave and push, which you did. Which you did, so this is good. But very hesitant with the with the push. It has to be very clear. Hey, I'm slow pushing. Okay, let me do only last hit. I'm not gonna do any more hits. I'm gonna only last it. And the camera, you only play with locked? Switch sometimes. You switch, right? Because here you should look at the evening, but you see you see how fast it is and how how, how uncomfortable. Boom boom. One second, one second. Like look, look at your camera, look at the camera. Like it should just be there and see the HP of the of the Drake, see how it is going down. The whole game camera control is holding you back. And I don't, I don't think you can get master tier with uh, with this. It's too much of a holding back. You, you always play with the locked, right? Uh, no, not always. <laughs> Sometimes I switch it up. Because there are many, 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 many situations where it's holding you back. Let me see. Like even here, like the fact that you're keeping your camera on you, like why do we need this space for example? 
you can just keep your camera on them and it's gonna you don't even see the lulu's hp now you see that she's lulu's hp this is huge information and here look at the jarvan if you don't have this space and you just put your camera more on that angle and on up angle you you actually might actually see him and you're gonna go like this like this and you're not you're not gonna die like this because he actually as you can see he ulted you imagine you're right here but if you want to be right here you need to have a good camera control so this holds back really hard and this play was very good the flash thing and yes the dive but the dive you couldn't do anything about it i didn't want to dive but like yes well you you have to stay around them if they do it you can't really Yeah, so the wave management is a problem because of the camera control problem. So you you recommend me to like uh, play with not locked. Yes, so locked. the 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 biggest mistake that you do is wave management, and then the second big mistake you're gonna see it's rotations in the mid game. Like your rotations should should be improved for the master tier. But the reason why you're having this problem is because you don't get enough information in the game to be able to take the correct decision because you're not looking if you want to know what what to do with the wave you need to see the wave first and you need to to basically be able to predict what's going to happen with it but if you don't see it and as you go to the lane you don't even look at it and you're not thinking about it it's not going to happen like for example right here here you got a bit of poke we don't talk about this you're going to see on the replay what was the mistake the mistake was that you're trying to walk up when wave is coming into you and evelyn is top lane no reason to play aggressive if you play weak side now you take the minion run 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 like as you can see these minions are not gonna die they are full hp so you're gonna you can you can just stay here and then go on the wave after but guess what the reason why you walked up is because you didn't see the minions i think or you saw the minions but you didn't know if you should walk up like here no reason to walk up here and Blitzkrieg had lag in the in that moment, so pretty unlucky. And then here, your camera, same thing. This space doesn't need, you don't need it. It's useless. You need to look at the Jinx to see her movement. This camera is good. This is a camera. This is a camera that you have. Yeah, no, no, not this, not this. N now, now you, you're done. Now you don't know. And this is why you have moments where I think you don't see the lux. You remember when you played Jinx and you didn't see the lux? It's because you play like this with the camera and because you have this space. This space, you don't need it. You just have to have your champion like this. That is gonna be a whole new game for me. Yes, yes, yes. So that is master tier. If if we fix that and we fix the the, the wave management, I think you're gonna be high diamond with that and then rotations as well so you have lots of work but don't worry I have all prescription for you everything that you need to work on and you also have this VOD you also have my Patreon you have so much information and right now you know what to work on so it's good okay good so let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see so camera camera control camera control camera control um yeah even a drake one more thing even a drake <clears throat> 14 minutes in the game like if you want to know if you should do drake or not with them what you should be doing is that you should look at drake right now you should look at it right now right now right now before you decide that you want to move there you need to look right here as you push the wave look at the drake if the drake is 1k hp don't go if the drake is 1.5k hp don't go if the drake is 4k hp and evelyn is low go but if you want to know you should look now you should look now right now because you're going you're going you're going you're going you're going and going and now you see the drake and you're like oh i need to be a drake yeah but the decision is not made here decision should be made here maybe you could have pushed one more maybe you could have get plates maybe you could have pressured them maybe the drake was this hp so it's a very slow decision maker and this is why you have this yes number that is extremely low six six one camera control and wave management then two decision making camera control 
Because you're gonna have situations when you go on the river and you're like, oh, never mind, I don't wanna be here, and you go back to bot lane. And it's waste time. So you waste of time is waste of farm. Waste of farm is waste of gold. Waste of gold is waste of items. Waste of items, you lose the game. <laughs> so number one is wave management. Number two is rotations in the mid game, which I'm gonna I'm gonna show you in a bit. But above these things, camera control is the first, first, first thing. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. Okay, here. She, okay, so you recall. Good. So here, what should you be doing right now? After recall. Buying items and looking at my team. True. So right now you're gonna get your, your warhammer, okay? What after? What do we do after? Uh, should I walk up? Because there's a wave. Okay, true, but then what about... Kenner is gonna take all of your wave. He confused me a lot, to be fair. So right here, let's see. So... If you go bot... Are there any chances that she's gonna do this and take it farm? Yes. True. She's a top laner. So the chances of you getting uh, uh, you getting stalled, stalled in the wave are high. Okay, compared to going top lane. Okay, well, we have a problem. Evelyn can go and take the wave. But I want to ask you right here, Asha. What are the chances of a jungle knowing that he deserves and he owes your farm on a lane? Because there is a difference if you go on top when you have jungle around you and jungle XP, well, the minions of lane for junglers got got nerfed, so she's probably not gonna take your wave. Compared to let's go bot lane, but Kenan is already there, so here you should immediately go to top lane without hesitation, because if you go to top lane, Kenan is definitely not gonna take your wave. Zed is not gonna take your wave, but if you go bot lane, she might actually take your wave, and you should ping. Because you have you have ping, you have mouth. You're going there and you're you're decided on her. You you're deciding based on what she does. That's good, but ping her. Ping on my way, on my way, and see what happens. Ping on my way, on my way, and if you see that she still goes there, you go top. Try to also have an opinion with this. Because instead of you just looking, oh what is she gonna do? Is she gonna go there? Is she not gonna do that? You're an educator, you need to have your you need to have your your decision let them know i want to fucking get this wave bro and you ping on my way on my way and yes there is a chance that she still pings one more time and she doesn't let in that case you go top but if you're doing this let's go top let's go board let's go top let's go board let's go top without even pinging then of course you're gonna be confused so one when you want a wave ask for it and if they don't give it to you it's fine at least you asked number two try to go on the lane where you know that the the chances of you getting the farm are higher and usually that's the jungle and you went because he wasted so much time so much time look at this uh, dancing dancing let's go dancing dancing then you go top lane and at least you get something and you saw the moment you you you, you came evelyn just recalled she would have gave you the farm if you came and now we're at the wrong time at the wrong spot drake is up gg so wave management and rotations two mistakes that for master tier are 100% needs to be fixed, but first is the camera control. So let's see the main takeaways and let's see how we can uh, fix this. So number one is wave management. Number two is rotations in mid game. And more importantly, most important Camera control. These three problems. Perfect. So now let's see which one is the most important thing. So the most important thing is definitely the camera. So wave management rotation is the minute. So wave management, I mean what to do with the wave and how is the wave state? Like you have to first of all be able to know how is the wave state, and second of all, you have to be able to to understand what to do with it. Rotations in the mid game, exactly what I said. Like understanding when to go on what lane, when to take the farm, when to group, when to not group, very important. 
uh, and camera control we already talked about. Wave management, you improve it on Patreon, plus playing the game, plus watching pro players, plus watching YouTube. Same thing with rotations in mid game, absolutely same thing. So, and I'm gonna show you what, what videos you should watch from Patreon. Camera control, you're gonna improve it with videos plus hard practice and here normals are also allowed because maybe you're gonna feel boosted. Camera control besides. You have one video, you have two videos. These are drills. Very, very, very good for you for the camera control. You, I would suppose you didn't see any, right? No, I haven't. So this is one. These two. Very good drills. Okay, you need minimum, minimum, minimum 50 more games on AD carry to improve these mistakes. And so far for the master tier, it's 100% camera control, which at the moment it is, uh, let's say, 4 out, of ten, five, 4 out of 10. And 4 is basically plat level. Uh, low plat level for sure. Then wave management, which is basically same thing, 3 out of 10, which is same thing, low plat level. Okay, interesting. I don't know what this card did. Okay, low plat level. Uh, your, scare, your screen is... Okay, oh. no. And okay. then rotations. Rotations in macro uh, management. This is, I don't know, because I... Uh, only in one game it's hard to exactly point on your rotations, but what I can know for sure that wave management and camera control are huge. So now there are also a few problems. Number problem number one, be careful with your champion pool. So champion pool can also hold you back. I recommend you champ pool of three champs. And exactly what I said. If you pick Zaya first like that, they will pick Jinx Lulu and you will have no chance. Did in game feel at some point that it's unwinnable in the lane, no matter what you do. Yes. It's because of the, ch the draft. So this is why it's good to pick Zaya. If you have like lots of, let's say, Zaya right here is amazing, for example. For her, Zaya, Talon, Fiddle, Olaf. And okay, you pick Jinx, Janna, and it's gonna be bad in the lane because Zaya is bad in long range. But at least she picked it for uh, the composition. Right here, Zaya into Mordekai, Jace, Jinx, Lulu would be horrible. Zaya right here into Akali, Diana, Alistar is not bad. It's okay, it's okay. But it's gonna, you're gonna have problems against Timo and against Varus. No problem. So, I recommend you only three champions, no matter what three champions you wanna play. If you wanna play... So you say you play Jinx, so it's very easy. It's very easy. You should play Jinx, Kaisa and Zaya. Do you think you have other mains? You want to play Tistana as well or something? That is only if I go mid. That's good. So you can play Jinx is blind pickable. Jinx is... If you don't know what to pick, Jinx is the pick. Zaya is when the enemy team comes into you. Kai'Sa is easy with engage support. Very simple champion pool. And very effective. You have the mechanics. There are some things that are plat level. Low plat level are bad. There are some things that are already diamond high level spacing and mechanics and so there are some things that are holding you back hard in plat things that are holding you back like in diamond one so the average is your heart stack diamond three diamond two so that's why you're there okay good so one second three champions watching pro players uh but i think more than pro players you have this channel lol 66 this is good you can watch it you have gumayushi you have so many streams uh, so you can watch pro players. My YouTube video is amazing, but most importantly Patreon because on Patreon is by far the biggest improvement for you. Right here on Patreon, you have all of the coaching sessions for you right here. Instant 500 of coaching sessions for you, Ashraf. So watch, don't watch what is old. I upload this all, uh, almost every day I upload on Patreon. Look, ADK, great macro wave management guide, Platristana. This is amazing for you. Anything that is plat and above is good. AD carry get out of low elo as AD carry silver jinx. Mm, maybe silver jinx. Or if I think about it, your wave management can be improved even in this session. So first of all, watch something new. Mid insane macro guy, this is mid. 
learn to carry on support maybe not you also have a tire list here so watch anything that is new and what you can do as well let's see yes this is very good this is very good this is mental he had the same problem like you the same problem like you anything i think any video on ad carry you just go here and just click on ad carry and especially the ones that are platinum and above are good but i do recommend you to also watch this like silver because your wave management as you can see what we learned about the incoming wave i teach people in silver so you can learn it very fast very very fast so maybe you can start with anything that is new don't watch my coachings a year ago which Watch something that is, uh, look, ADK is below diamond, should watch this. This means it's a fucking good session with fundamentals. This is good. Who is this guy? Mento. Good. This is platinum. It's very good. How to close out as ADK? Season 12. Commentary besides on Tristana. You can also watch me playing, which is okay. I'm explaining a lot of wave management. Look, this is only me. Only me. On Azir, on support, on Tristana, on Ezreal. Look, ADK guy, Lucian gameplay, smurfing, rotations plus mid game. You need this. This is good for you. This is good for you. So you have lots of content here. This Patreon can make you if you if you the, in the next three months, camera control, wave management, camera control, wave management, over and over and over and over and over again. You pump with content. You watch as many as possible, one per day, two per day, and you 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 implement it in your gameplay. So you play, yes, you're gonna demote Diamond 4, Diamond 3, Diamond 2, Diamond 3, Diamond 3, Platinum 1, Diamond 2, Diamond 1, Diamond 3. You're gonna, this is solo queue. This is gonna happen. But there is no other way. I recommend you to also watch the session one more time. So we stayed, we stayed uh, definitely a lot more than over time <laughs> because I did it for you, man, and I really wanted to help you. So this is this. And let me give you the session recorded. And if there are questions, we were going to take it right now. So let's go to the questions. <laughs> A lot of information, like uh, For those of you who are struggling, winning and climbing in solo queue, but are serious about getting better, I also do coaching for players that want to improve and get their gameplay to the next level. Coaching can't make you better if you just play normals and arms and don't like playing ranked or you don't care about improving you just play for fun or let's say you just play the game for like three hours maybe four hours per week and that's about it coaching doesn't help you coaching can help you if you feel hard stuck if you struggle carrying games if you want to stop wasting time auto piloting and not learning anything if you run into a circle for a long time if you want to find out the mistakes that hold you back or simply maybe you have problems with the wave management maybe you feel lost throughout the mid game maybe you struggle with the decision making macro and you just want to learn how to do it properly from a professional coach or let's say you have difficulties checking the enemy jungle and you die a lot to ganks or simply maybe you just want to learn how to carry one versus nine so you can actually climb and stop really wasting time so what are you waiting for? Go ahead and book your own coaching now and start improving instantly. I'll see you in the session.